Hey, what is going on guys? Hass here. Hopefully you're having a good day out there. If you guys are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. If you guys enjoy the sneaker content and you've already been subscribed, please make sure that notification bell is on. If you haven't used my website, Collective Kicks, I boast a bunch of sneaker deals on there every single week, so please check that out as well. Uh, and this video is really interesting. Honestly, I was just sitting on the couch with the kids, hanging out, mom was working, and I looked over and I saw these shoes sitting on the ground. And this is really the inspiration that sparked the conversation uh, for what I tweeted. So this is the New Balance Laredo and it has a fuel cell midsole in here. It has carbon fiber around the shoe back here for support. It's an ultra premium product from the running side of things, but it's also one of the shoes that like perfectly segues over to the lifestyle segment. This is an absolute beast and I don't think anybody's paid attention to the shoe. And for those people that have been paying attention, the price point's probably the thing that definitely shuts them down. So I'll link them in the description if you guys are interested in finding out more about these shoes. But this is a $225 pair. So funny enough, this is actually what my tweet was about. Just knowing that there's people probably interested in these shoes that have never considered buying them because of the price point just being too high out of their comfort zone. When I added the resale element to the tweet, that's really where this took off and mainly the direction that everything went, which is totally fine. Sometimes post something and you think of it one way and then it's consumed in a completely different way. But the way that uh, you guys were replying, it was really rad to see. And I actually had to do a little bit of work here to data dump all of your guys' replies into one repository. And then I tried to figure out the best I could of which answers you guys use the most. Now, it's not a perfect method. There's about a thousand replies. It's really been fun to be able to see all of the replies that come in because some of the stuff is is like just like myself, basically somebody that has been collecting sneakers for years and that one shoe that got away, like I remember that one and I, I still want that one, whatever X, Y, or Z pair of sneakers it might have been. Uh, and I know you guys are the same way, right? Which is awesome. We all have the ones that we all kind of want because we know if we get them at retail, there's a resale value. But then there's actually the ones that we want because we really want the shoes. And that's where I think that this was a fun video to do because it wasn't so much about the resale of the shoe, it's the desirability of the product that you actually wanna get. Uh, so yeah, man, it was really fun to see the, all the results. And thank you to everybody that left a comment on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, and whoever leaves a comment in this video. But if you guys don't follow me on Twitter or Instagram, it's at Hesskicks. Feel free to do so. I actually have a TikTok as well that I started. It's at Hesskicks as well for those people that want to search over there. I don't post a lot of stuff yet, but uh, it's something that I'm dabbling with. You know, we'll see how the year goes. Any which way, a lot of, lot of answers. I'll just rattle down some of the ones that I'm seeing from the first replies, and then I'll get into some of the metrics and some of the most frequent answers. So on IG, Dunk Low Plum. Uh, got that a couple times. Yeezy Wave Runners, Auto Lacing Air Mags. Of course, that would be the Grail of Grails if you can get them. Uh, Sean Witherspoon uh, Air Max 197s, Yeezy 350 Glows. I was surprised to see that, but that's a good one. Dior's Off White UNCs, Up Tempos and Black on Black. See, that's one I like because that's one of those shoes that you could get at retail. If you didn't get them at retail, the price eventually jumps and is a bummer because it's just one of those classics that you want to get. Yeezy 700 Salts, the Denim Air Max 1s. Agree with that one too. I got the Air Max 95s and the 90s, but I didn't get the 1s, and that's the, the one that's like the best quality. Cherry 12s, AJ1 Lance Mountains, another strong one that I wish I never sold. I had one of the colorways. Kobe 5, 6 Preludes. ISPA Road Warriors, that's a nice one. That's a fun, different one. Just Dawn 2s, Dornbecker 2s. Purple Lobster SBs, Carhartt 4s, Trophy Room 5s, I think that's obviously a good one as well. I wish I bought those as soon as they came out because obviously the prices went crazy. Off-White 4s, Tokyo 5s, Coraline Dunks, that's one I missed as well. I really, really regret not getting a pair of those. Paranorman Foam Posits as well. Lots of Travis Scott answers, Atmos Air Maxes, lots of Air Max answers as well. Anyway, moving over to Twitter, we saw a lot of AMM 3s, and some people said AMA 3s, which actually happened quite a few times, but it's the AMM, obviously. Some Yeezy Belugas, some Mars Yards. I was actually relieved to see some Foam Posit love on that list still. Obviously, the Galaxy Foams being the top one. Shattered Backboards were mentioned quite a bit. What the Pauls and Wave Runners, if I didn't say it already. And there was actually quite a few New Balance as well, especially the Salehi Bembury collaborations. And then also the Jown ones as as well. Uncle Dunk Highs, obviously those ones are rad. That would have been a cool one to get to. Some Chunky Dunkies, a lot of Nike Dunks as well. And there was a lot of really, really solid answers. A couple of the ones that I really liked the best uh, for myself, the Air Max 95 Neons is just one I haven't paid resale for. It stings me to have to do that considering back in the day I'd get them for half price from the Nike employee store. Now I'm not, I'm getting gouged, man. I don't want to pay 250, 300 for those. I want to get them at retail. But uh, you know, I waited for this retro around and now I missed it. And that's one that I have my eye on. Also, Paranorman Foam Posit. Weird wins, man, but I didn't win. I thought I was weird enough. 
Bummer on those. And another one, the Air Jordan 1, the, the origin story, the Spider-Man ones. I really like that one as well. And like most of you guys out there with whatever selection that you choose, the price was just a little bit too high. And then now that I'm looking back, the price is just a little bit too much higher and higher. It just gets worse and worse. Unfortunately, I should have bought it this. I didn't. I decided to wait. I thought it would go down. And you know, and then it's here now. So, so now I just kind of want to go over some of the metrics with you guys. Some of the, the details that I found interesting when I um, compiled all this data. First of all, the Air Jordan 1 Dior, that was mentioned about eight times. Off-White in general was mentioned 68 times. So Air Jordan Off-Whites, Air Max 90, Air Force One Off-Whites, 68 times for people that mentioned Off-White. That's one of the ones I think the number is actually lower than the true representation because so many people use OW or Off-White or like Virgil or, you know, they, they use so many different uh, variations of Off-White that it was really hard unless I manually scrubbed through a thousand comments, which I didn't have time to do. But I definitely know that there was a strong presence with Off-White. Jordans in general mentioned 150 times, which is pretty significant as well. The use of the word Air in some sense, either be Air Jordan or Nike Airs, those ones were 128 times. Yeezy was actually mentioned 67 times, which is pretty impressive. I didn't expect to see that many times. Wave Runners were mentioned 17 times, uh, which is something that I could see being a hot commodity for sure. I think the number one shoe that a lot of people will really mention that they feel like they struck out on is the Union Air Jordan 1s. So that was 54 usages just for Union, either the Air Jordan 1 or the 4s, but most of the people mentioned the Air Jordan 1s. Emma Manier 3s uh, about 22 times, and Travis Scott in some form or another at least 45 times. Nike Dunk was mentioned around 100 times in all different shapes. I love to see some of the OG uh, mentions as well as Chunky Dunkies and some of the newer stuff as well. Kobe was mentioned at least 25 times. Phone Posit was only mentioned 11, but I'll take it, man. I love to see it. New Balance and NB together were about 50 searches, which is actually pretty good. And Air Max was used about 40 times. And the last one that I crunched numbers on is Mars Yard. It was about 11 people that said Mars Yard. But all in all, like there was a lot of diversity across the board for things that people wanted and just didn't get. And I thought that this was a really fun experiment to be able to see this sort of stuff. So if you guys like this concept of a video, I definitely want to do more of this kind of polling because it's fun to be able to see the metrics and the numbers come from you guys out there directly. Uh, I have to figure out a better way to crunch the numbers. Basically, when I actually initiate this, I'm going to have a format that you have to follow, like spell out Air Jordan or whatever instead of AJ. Uh, or, or AJ1, spell out Air Jordan 1, number one, or something like that. So I have a, a format to actually go back through. You guys will, can help curate the data uh, for me by using that right format. Uh, but I didn't you know, know it was gonna be anything like this or that I could be doing a video on this. Anyways, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about the, uh, the subject at hand. I obviously have quite a few pairs of sneakers, but there's always a handful of ones where I'm like, Dude, I just, I wish I got that shoe. It just slipped me and now I slept on it and now the price is just way too high and I'm not gonna buy the shoe now because of it. And you know, we all have to be somewhat stubborn. Otherwise we'd be broke, right? So anyway, thank you guys for stopping by and watching. Hopefully you guys have a good rest of the day and hopefully we'll see you guys back here for some more videos. All right, peace guys.